go, here we go, here we go. Yes! There we go. Mahi on. Just to keep him away from this fat hit. Oh no. Why does this always happen to me? Righto, now we can do it. <laughs> Have a go, man. Well, g'day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. We're out off the fads off southeast Queensland today, chasing a feed of mahi mahi or dolphin fish. And this is the first pass. Now, you would have seen there's a little bit of a cluster straight up there. Uh, trolling two lines with uh, live baits on them. You would have seen that live herring go on first up in this video. And um, one's been snabbled. And the best part about it is, where there's one dolphin fish, there's usually more. That's a great way to jinx yourself for the rest of the day, but I can see them swimming around. I do have another live bait out there that hasn't been eaten, but this is a lovely fish. We've got a, got a fair bit of condition on today. It's a um, bit rough and tumble. So, I think any fish we get, we get is going to be a bonus. But I've been hanging out for a feed of Mahi Mahi for a long time and this guy is a beautiful fish. He's done some big jumps. He's come around the front there, there he is. He's got some mates with him. I'm surprised that other live he hasn't been snabbled. But this guy will well and truly be getting the gaff and coming with us. All things going to plan. Now these fads have been put in by fisheries for pretty well this exact reason. They attract all sorts of things. You've got your dolphin fish like we've got, currently got on here, as well as wahoo and marlin. All, all sorts of critters get around the uh, fads. It's like the pub in the desert sort of thing. I'd love to say I hooked this guy on heavy tackle and could just muscle him in, but unfortunately that's not the case. I've got my bone shore barrage, medium. It's a great flathead rod. <laughs> Turns out you can catch dolphin fish on it as well. Well, sort of. We're getting there. This guy here, he looks to be a uh, pretty reasonable size. Definitely one that we want. A class above the, the normal size that you, you see out here. And that's, I think, what live bait will do. Live bait does seem to weed out the bigger fish. I'd love to just sneak this guy in to gaffing range. He's coming in and out. Up you come please mate. Geez, they go hard. Just slugging it out. He's got to be getting tired. Wrong rod for the job, this one. Might have to change. He's just sitting down there. Might change it up after we land this guy. You've got every chance of hooking some 10 kilo plus bull out here. We're out in 100 meters. He'll be there all day on one of them. I thought, oh, this would be a bit of fun. Nice like year. Here he comes. Look at those golden flanks. Name a prettier fish. Oh. 
We got him. We got him. <laughs> yes. Now these guys are world renowned for going crazy at the side of the boat, but we'll try and hold him up while he's still got a bit of colour there. Ladies and gents, have a go at that! That's a beautiful first fish. Oh, let's get the sun on him. How bloody good do these fish look? Absolutely a million bucks and they taste fantastic. So, guys, like I said before, welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. This is our target species. We got one first pass. Hopefully we can add a few more to the tally and uh, show you a good old fashioned fad session. Thanks very much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this episode. All I know is I've got some fresh fish ready to rock and roll when I go home. Anything else now is a bonus. Absolutely stunning fish. How good is that? He's repainting the boat for me. Look at that circle hook beautifully in the corner of the mouth there. I do like using circle hooks on these guys because they jump and carry on. Particularly when you're fishing a live boat. They jump and carry on and like nobody's business. Now like all table fish, they get the brain spike and bleed treatment. These guys have a fair bit of blood in them though, so make sure you give them a good bleed. Really improves the uh, eating quality. Let's go with a bit of a gravity feed. Gotta make sure they're dead before you do this. <laughs> Wash down before it dries. Doesn't take long for that to happen in summer. And get that straight onto some of Caboolture's finest, finest blue bags. That's gonna get him cold in a hurry. Now there's one other aspect that people don't really talk about that much with chasing dolphin fish, and that's the, uh, the mental aspect. Um, you've got to be mentally prepared to deal with the police on the way home and convince them that you weren't involved in any murders. Have a go at this. Suspect number one. Yeah, it was Sam. How can you tell? Well, he's covered in blood, that's why. Um, yeah. Washing machine's going to get a workout. All part of the game. Righto, let's go again. This is that other bait. Just gonna go one rod. I think it might be a whole heap less stressful. So what we're doing is essentially just slow trolling these liveys with a circle hook in their nose. Just straight past the fad. The dollies are hanging around there. And hopefully it's game on again. But without the cluster of lines that always seems to happen on my boat. Always like a bit of drama. Now there is a, a few other techniques you can use for the old fads. First and the easiest would probably just be to chuck a spread of marlin lures out or small skirts and um, just go trolling between them. Uh, you'll often find those fish in transit between the two and, and also sitting around the fat itself. And the second one is uh, another pretty simple one and that's uh, getting the old pilchards, chopping up a heap for burley and just feeding them back. And once you get those dollies in a feeding frenzy, it can be uh, fast and furious fun. And then obviously the third method, what I'm doing is live baiting and I find the live baiting tends to pick out the bigger fish, but um, you don't usually get as many numbers it depends on the day obviously if they're all fired up ready to rock and roll it can be uh on for young and old and also fishing solo is a little bit harder because you want to keep one in the water while they're all excited and then um and then catch his mates while they're all lit up beside him but hey we got one on the board we can't go backwards from here see if we can't find another one or two or three i can see them there they're gonna, gonna have to eat sooner or later they're just boiling around Oh, they're at the back of the boat here. Surely. Now I've got this reel with the bail arm open and I'm just waiting for the tap. 
you'll feel them come through, give it a, a big old love tap. And once you feel that, free spool it, let them get that livey right down, and then um, slowly roll the circle hook into him. He's getting nervous. Cheers, there's a couple of nice ones sitting around. Oh, some really nice ones. Just chucked a smaller livey on. See if I ping one of these little ones and um, fire them up a bit. This is a lollipop. I'm looking at some really nice fish swimming past. They're here. And the other way is to bomb in little stick baits and poppers and slugs and see if you can't excite one like that. Usually a pretty fast retrieve gets the nibbles with his, but they can also switch them right off. Oh, oh. One came through me, swing and a miss. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Eating, eating. We got him? Yeah, we got him. Yes! Only a little tacker. But we got him. <laughs> they went quiet for a little bit after I hooked that last one. Just refreshed my live bait. This guy's only small. We'll see if he goes the 50. So you're allowed, here in Queensland, you're allowed dogfish over 50 centimetres. I'm pretty certain you're allowed five of. Well, this guy might not even go the 50. He's quite small. He's only a little pup. Still having a good go though. Oh, we got company as well. Oh, he'll go. He's 50. Nothing like the quality we got in that first one, but he'll do. Oh, I reckon he'll go 50 easy. Yeah, he's, he's easy legal. He just got bigger when I got him in the boat. Stay calm, mate, stay calm. If there's anything these guys are really bad at, it's staying calm. There you go, I said he was only a tacker. Where's that sun? Now there's a guy trolling around, which usually, if he doesn't hook up, generally makes him pretty quiet, but there you go. Little cutie. I'll just double check him on the measure. I know he's over 50, but just for the exercise, I'll double check him. And if he is, he can come with us. Lovely eating size. These guys grow super quick. The fastest growing fish in the ocean they are. So if you're gonna take a feed, these are the fish to do it all. Very, very sustainable. Delicious. There you go. He's 73. Well and truly legal. Give him the royal treatment. And after a nice little fight for his size, I'll give him the old athlete's recovery ice bath. They love that, aids in recovery. Lovely. Oh, They do have pretty sharp teeth. I just checked that leader. I'm only fishing fairly light. 
that's all right. Let's get ourselves another livey. Let's try a pilchard. Can get very busy, the old fads. Here we go. That looked like a good one. Here we go. The cavalry have arrived here. I can see him chasing my live, but we just missed a really nice one. I um oh, a little bit ambitious so was. Well guys, I'm gonna change up the plan real quick. Um, a couple of other boats have rocked up to the fad. The school seem to have gone quiet and they're just not chewing at the moment so I'm going to go for a troll for an hour or two and come back and hopefully uh, people have left it alone for a while and I'll come back and, and start trolling liveys again. Well there's definitely fish here, I've seen them at every pass but they must be shut down like there's no tomorrow. you think they wouldn't say no to a livey, slow trolled livey but I'll tell you what they are saying no. No, no. I'm not gonna waste all afternoon here on these dollies. Oh, there is a big, what is that? Is that a shark? Oh, there's a big shark. Big shark just cruised across the surface. Time to get out of here. Unfortunately, not the esky jamming fad session I was hoping for, but we got a couple of nice fish in there and, and missed a good one as well. Now, I wouldn't leave you with just those two. Here's a bit of footage from a little prospecting trip I did with Shauno a couple of weeks earlier. Did you see? He's a good, he's a hey, big dolly. Yeah, old short corner bite. I'm... <laughs> Maybe we should chuck some liveys down. Yeah, I'm very keen on that idea now. Very... Fish on. It is exciting. Well, guys, I don't know if you'll ever see this footage, but... Oh, what's that down at... But we're on. We're on. It's a nice dolly. It's been a day. Oh, yeah. Lovely little fish. He's an addition. Oh, he doesn't like it. Is he going to dance for us? That's how it's going to happen. <laughs> That's how it's going to happen, Sean Whale. Under the throat's usually good. And then flip them upside down. Yeah! You got him? Oh, shot. We got one. We got one. <laughs> how you do it. Oh, he's a nice fish. Great fish. That's the guy. Yeah, going anywhere, that one. He was going nowhere. Gross. Hey? It is a bit gross. I
Jo, var vägen. Ja, den två. Oh. You just get mini whack, I think. Yeah. Oh no, it's a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh! 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 What was that? Is that oh! a man? No, it's a shark. Oh, it's a big shark. Oh my god. Oh, good luck with that one, mate. I still got him. Oh, he's down here. Should I just free spill him? Yeah. Oh my god. That's a lot going on. Are you recording on your top? I should have been. That was so quick. That was what that, that um, thing was, too. Yeah. Well, at least we got one each now. <laughs> Wowee. Oh. Not me best gaff shot. <laughs> sort of. With those two nice sized dollies in the bag, Sean and I decided to call it a day. It was getting pretty late. We'd been out there for a while and we'd had an interesting session to say the least. So we had two eaters, time to get out of there. Now you'll join me from the filleting table from the most recent session as we break down those two eaters we got today. Well guys, just the two landed today. A couple of missed opportunities as well, but that's always the case. And I think if they're not super on the chew, once a couple of boats get into them, they are. Uh, they shut down pretty quick, but luckily that first one, this one here, was a belter. It's probably four or five kilos of, um, of dolphin fish there. Obviously they get a lot bigger, this one's a cow. Um, but yeah, lovely eating size fish and heap of meat on them too. Now, I don't tend to eat the skin on dolphin fish. I find it quite tough, doesn't break down the pan too well. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a real quick and easy way to skin them in one go before you give them a fillet. You'll notice I leave Bit of meat here, it's because I'm using the belly flaps for something else. You might see it pop up in another video. Make a shallow cut, just under the skin. Oh no. Peel up that bit of skin, and just pull it back. There you go. Dolphin fish, skin, in one second flat. Now just fill it as you would normally. There you have it, job done. I reckon a few of you could probably take a pretty good educated guess of what I'm gonna do with those belly strips. Uh, but I'm gonna take them off and use the frame for crab bait. Get these in the fridge and on to the next one. Unfortunately guys, that is all we've got time for this week. If you do have some fads off your local area, make sure you get out there and check them out. They can be a stack of fun, present a whole heap of fishing opportunities and be a great place to secure a feed of fish. Now, if you'd like any more information on the fishing gear I did use in this episode, you can find it all at wilsonfishing.com. Or if you'd like to support the channel directly, you can do so by heading to my website, sammyhitskyfishing.com and grabbing yourself some merch. There's heaps available there. See if there's any that tickles your fancy. Guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you're all safe and well and getting out for a fish over this Christmas period. I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing adventure. Cheers.